Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And so I don't actually know what this video is going to be. I have here a box of Coco Daisy things that I bought back in, I want to say August. This is their August kit. So what I have in here is their August kit and some other things, but this kit here it's the August Quiet Meadow, and I bought a lot of stuff. They had like a sale because they were moving websites and stuff like that. So I got a lot of stuff from that Quiet Meadow August kit. This is just a paper pad, uh, not paper pad, a sticker book from Michaels that I thought the stickers, like the theme matched with this. And so that's why I have it in here. So that's what I have here is Quiet Meadow, the Coco Daisy kit. And I recently purchased a A6 ring planner from Print Pressions. This is the meadow color. It's a it's it's kind of like a teal green color. It's darker than I normally gravitate towards, but I wanted to try an A6 ring and my idea for this is to keep a journal slash commonplace book slash Sort of like how I've been doing my day book of dreams. I've been working through Liz Lamoureux's Water Your Soul. And this is my, if you remember this, this is the binder that I, the little mini binder that I made from a book cover that I covered in fabric. And I just used personal size rings. And this is about B6 size, these pages. But I just kind of really love this look of just like magazines, uh clippings and quotes and like pictures and like lots of journaling that I kind of want to keep a journal that way um I just want to try something new normally I've been doing my little stitched journals if you remember these little guys I've been doing these and just keeping like a uh it's like a catch-all of all the things and it's bound and I spend a lot of time making these covers. If you saw my last video, I do have a new art journal, which I haven't actually started in, but this is going to be solely for art. I wanted something that was more journaling based and like that I can put things that I pull from magazines and all this stuff. And I've been really enjoying working in like, like keeping a journal in, in the rings. And that's due to Liz's class that I've been taking. I just love being able to punch stuff in, move stuff around and all the things. And so I figured I will use a planner. And I was thinking of using my B6 Kiki K because I do have a B6 Kiki K. The thing is I want a, I wanted a planner that was sort of this, this these dimensions, which is six by seven and a half. And um, most of the B6s aren't that. They're more like eight by seven and a half they're like huge the closest size that i could find to that sort of size was an a6 rings but a lot of the a6 rings are really expensive like vanderspec i think is the other one that makes a6 rings Gilio, i think is another planner brand that makes a6 rings and then the other one was mold term which is a little bit more reasonable like affordable but still super expensive for impressions it's like on the low side is more of the uh, affordable side and I just prefer all the colors because all the other brands have more neutral y kind of colors more leathery neutral and this is vegan leather so there's not even real leather and so I kind of toyed with this for a couple of months but the print impressions a6 is seven by six so it's six wide seven so it's a it's a half an inch shorter than I wanted it to be to fit B6 inserts in, but I decided to get it anyway. This one particularly came with a set of 30 millimeter rings in silver, but I have since changed those out and put in a personal size ring mechanism in here. I had to kind of cut into the faux leather to extend this. So the way that Primpressions makes their planners is that you can remove the rings and you can add them back in, you can upgrade rings. And so you can easily with these type of rings, this is, I believe these are the Moulturn rings where you can just screw them in. You just slide the post in and screw it. But since this is A6, it's only, the holes are only for the A6, uh, for the A6 ring size mechanism. This is a personal. So it had to be, I had just had to make the slit a little wider, I guess, deeper in, up and down to get it to fit. It fits really nicely. 
I mean, you can sort of see the top and the bottom a little bit, but that doesn't really bother me. This is just to keep everything uniform so that like if I wanted to go in here and take these inserts out, I can easily just put them in this, which I have been like toying with kind of seeing how this looks because these pages are a mixture. They're basically B6. Some pages are bigger than B6. Other pages are smaller, but I just kind of wanted to see how it would look in here. Roughly B6. The ones that I make for this for this planner will be strictly B6. So like, let me see. I, this page here, this is a B6 size piece of paper. And so you can see that some of my other ones are wider. Um, but I feel like if I just filled it up with B6, it'll fit quite nicely. Like right now I have a pen. I have a Twisby fountain pen there on the pen loop and like it it doesn't really I'm probably not going to keep the pen in the pen loop I just, honestly it was a pain in the butt to get it to fit into that pen loop but this is how this looks on the because there's two buttons so I'm pretty sure if I make all of my inserts exactly b6 I won't have this overhang and obviously they're all different size uh, height wise um, but this is how this looks with roughly b6 inserts in it and I figured that I can probably fit b6 inserts in this little thing I might have to trim off from the top and the bottom just a little bit but width wise it should be fine so this page here I believe is a personal wide it's not quite b6 but like I said that this paper is exactly five by seven b6 size and the rest of them are maybe like a quarter of an inch longer which is why it kind of hangs out a little bit so i was just playing around with it but i kind of wanted this size because i like i guess i like the format of five by seven but i want <laughs> but i want rings and i don't want to carry a huge planner even though like when you when i put it up against my kiki k which i have in my closet right now I don't know, that planner just feels significantly bigger than this one for some reason, even though it's, I think it's an inch, no, it's, yeah, it's an inch wider because I think it's seven. Is it seven by seven and a half or is it eight by seven and a half? It's like, it's like an inch wider and like an inch taller maybe than this one or a half an inch taller and an inch wider, but for some reason it just feels a lot bigger in my hand. Um, than this one. I prefer how this feels. And so my idea was to kind of put some uh, uh, A6, uh, B6 inserts into this A6 planner here, which is why I changed out the rings because A6 rings are a bit different. Um, the holes are a bit different and I wanted to be able to kind of put the inserts into different types of planners that I already have, right? Or different types of books like this one that I made that I already have. And also I was trying to find 25 mil A6 rings and I can only find like 19 mil and 30 which is what this came with. And so I decided just to try it out like this. And so that's sort of the backstory of what I'm doing. But this video I, I was just I just decided to turn on the camera and to kind of look through this and what I wanted to do was kind of cut down some of this these TN um, inserts that I have here I have some paper so this is on some of the paper that came wrapped in I think no not this package a different package but I kind of like that and you'll see the craft color kind of really matches with this so this is the Coco Daisy August kit and I have the Daisy Dory here in, in B6 size because my intention was to do B6 I have two of them and then I have an assortment of other things um, and I thought just meadow going with quiet meadow I thought it would be really cute really pretty for sort of you know ending of summer going into fall these colors are a little bit different than my normal clothes because you know I never use like orange um, very little yellow very rarely do I use red but it's you know like there's it's just really pretty um, and it's full and I thought it would be different um, and fun and so I bought the daisy dories um, because it's just grid paper with like decorations I don't know what I'm going to do here but I just like these grid papers and they're already decorated and it's just strictly for journaling really and so I got two daisy dories in b6 size which I'm going to cut 
in half and hole punch into there. I might have to trim the bottom or the top off a little bit again to get it to fit height wise, but I have two of them there and I was gonna just do one. I Again, I included this paper pad here, not paper pad, sticker pad, sticker book from Recollections from Michaels. I bought these, I did like a huge haul, like again, way back in August from Michaels online because a lot of the stuff was on sale and I had like all these coupons and reward points and I was like, oh my God. So I bought a bunch of sticker books and this sticker book is just off like kind of wildflower florals. I think that's what this one's called, wildflowers. I know. Um, but I thought that the colors and everything matched this really well, like this kit. And so I have that in here. I have two of the washies from the Quiet Meadow kit. And then this is like basically everything that I've got from this kit. I did save the paper bag from, I think, the classified memory keeping kit, but I did splurge. And so let's just do a little quick unboxing. <laughs> of this even though I've already unboxed all of it it's it's multiple I don't even remember how many kits I clearly bought a kit because it came with this and I bought the modern the classified kit because it came in that that paper bag but I think I bought the modern memory memory keeping kit which is the one that comes with the cards and then I bought the classified memory keeping kit which is like little extras and then I bought things that were just loose so from the planner kit i bought the ephemera i bought the sticky notepad i bought what else was loose the the bookmark and i think the bookmark was loose and then some of the sticker kits that i bought that were loose like you know that you can buy in pieces um and so this is everything this is like everything that i collected from from Coco Daisy from this kit. Again, this is the August 2023 kit from Coco Daisy. It's called Quiet Meadow and it's very floral and very cute. This is a little info card that just says, you know, Quiet Meadow and sort of Christine's thing. So like I follow Coco Daisy. I, I like watching Christine's videos of the unboxings and how she uses the kits. I really love her planner setup videos on YouTube. And so when I saw this one, I was like, oh, it's so pretty. And I went back and forth with, should I buy anything? Should I buy anything? And I did end up doing two separate orders actually to get everything that I wanted. And this was just a splurge for me because I hadn't bought like any scrapbooking supplies, any like stuff like this. I don't buy kits or anything anymore. And yeah, it's Coco Daisy. So I have a, an assortment of stuff here. And what I kind of want to pull out is maybe just the papers because that's what I kind of want to punch in to get into the planner. And so this is what I wanted. I wanted this. I wanted the... Let's go through this. Let's go through all the paper bits because that is what I want to make sure that I'm going to punch in to create my pages and stuff. Um, so I'm just kind of putting everything aside, but um, ideally it should all go in a box somewhere. And I'm just gonna take one of these TNs, the Daisy Dories um, out here. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the staples out of this and pull all the pages out. My goal was to gather papers and things to put into that planner. And so the first step, of course, is taking apart this, um, this TN so that I can cut all these pages in half and then I can hole punch them into the planner. I think I actually might cut this craft cover in half too because that just matches really well. I mean, I can cut it like this or I can just rip it. Does it matter? Let's see. Because if I get my bone folder, if I can find one, I can probably just rip it in half. Yeah, let's just do that. It's probably quicker than getting um, than getting my paper trimmer and then having to do all that. And I'm gonna try my best to keep it like aligned. So like this, it's like this, right? So 
let's kind of keep them like that so that I can just fold them. But yeah, so I'm still trying to like wrap my head around what I'm doing here. I just honestly just needed to do something. It's very, very rainy. So I'm filming this on a Sunday and it's been raining all weekend because of that tropical storm Ophelia, I think. And it's just been a washed out weekend. It's been raining. Like all day yesterday was raining. All day today has been raining and it's just gray and rainy and um, it's kind of cozy. Like yesterday, I spent the day pretty much. Um, I had a call with Liz and some of the ladies from Water Your Soul, the class that I've been taking this year. And that was really, really nice. Very intimate. It was a few of us there. And that was just a really nice way to start the day with that lovely little call. And then I spent the rest of the day lounging <laughs> and sitting on the couch and watching movies watched a lot of watched a lot of movies i saw let's see what did i see this weekend i saw elemental that pixar movie on disney plus i watched those movies on netflix the one with priyanka chopra jonas the one with celine dion that one i watched oh my god the, the movie that's based on the the statistical probability of love at first sight i know they changed the title of it on netflix but that one so I, I love Jennifer E. Smith. I like read all her books. I watched that one and I watched. So like, you know, NSYNC has been everywhere lately because yeah, NSYNC. I watched, my friend had sent like our friend group NSYNC doing hot ones, you know, when they eat the hot sauce on the barbecue chicken, um, the barbecue hot sauce, right? Or something like that on the chicken wings. And it was the whole group. And I just kind of fell down at NSYNC rabbit hole that I didn't realize. Um, I ended up watching a documentary that was on a, it's a YouTube original that was produced by Lance Bass about Lou Pearlman, which was the dude who discovered Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. And I just watched that. That was so interesting. Yeah, I watched that. What else did I watch? I watched the Super Mario Brothers movie. Like, I just basically watched movies that I hadn't seen because who goes to the theater anymore? And yeah, I just did that. Pretty much did that all day. And so today, it's just like another sluggish day. And like, I feel just so unmotivated lately to do anything besides getting up and going to work and... Um, and me getting up, going to work, is just me rolling out of bed and then going to my desk. <laughs> I just, just feel really unmotivated to do much of anything lately. And um, I kind of wanted to get this project started, just like I wanted to finish making that art journal, which I still haven't even started working in yet. It's just finding the motivation to just get up and do the stuff that I figured, you know what, let me... I, I was falling asleep, like going back to sleep. And I'm just like, it's noon. Like I shouldn't be taking a nap and going back to sleep. Like it's ridiculous. I mean, I know the weather, I, this type of weather makes me really sleepy and kind of sluggish and blah, but I'm just like, no. Um, and so I made myself get up and like change my linen because I needed to wash it and all this stuff. And so I did that. And then I was just like, you know what? I have this project that I want to do that I at least want to get started. Let's, let's just gather papers. And so I'm bringing you along while I gather papers. And so this is probably going to be a long video because these ten types of videos tend to be long unless I speed you, <laughs> unless I speed you through most of it. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I figured I was just going to gather papers and like watch a bunch of YouTube videos in the background and do it. And then I'm just like, you know what? You should record this. Like this is something that maybe, I don't know, you want to put on your channel since it's like, this is what you do. Like basically this is what I do. Like a lot of the times I don't film this at all. Like when I start setting up stuff, I really don't. I just do it for my own self and then I'll show you the after effect like the aftermath of the setup, like the actual it already done in, in the thing. I don't actually show you the process of me doing anything. Um, very rarely, at least. I noticed I would just show you the thing when it's already done, right? Or set up or whatever. So I figured, you know what? This would be, let's just film the whole thing. And so that is my long rambly explanation as to why I turned on the, the camera today and why I'm here and why you're, potentially watching this and 
yeah, very long-winded explanation of what maybe possibly this video is going to be about. But yeah. So, okay, these guys are in order now. Not that it matters, but they are. And so now I can punch, hole punch them. And I don't have to use all the pages either. Like, I can mix and match these pages again. Like these, I don't know what I'm going to use them for because they say Monday through Sunday. But like all of this, this is like prime journaling. And the pages are already decorated, you know? They already have these beautiful prints on them that it's just so pretty. Anyway, so those are basically base papers. And then everything else is just extra. I am going to hole punch this to get it in. And then I wanted to see if some of these cards I wanted to punch in. Um, because what I really loved in my about my Water Your Soul binder is that I have things that are different sizes. And I love that. This is August. So these are double-sided. I don't think I'm going to use any of these, though. That's pretty. Yeah. Because, like, one side is horizontal and the other side isn't. Or, I don't know, they're all horizontal. Yeah, no, it's going to be really weird. Um, so I'll use this for something else. But I know some of the little, some of these little cards. Um, the reason why I bought this kit, I really just wanted the journaling cards, but they kind of sold out of that separately, um, was because some of the cards had beautiful sayings on them. And the tans will fade, but the memories will last forever. Let us live like flowers, wild and beautiful and drenched in the sun. The secret to having it all is knowing you already do. I really like that. Exist and enjoy, don't wish and want. Unplug your mind, recharge your soul. Take time to cleanse, to heal, to renew, to grow, to become. I love the sayings on some of these. At the end of the day, we can endure much more than we can think, than we than we think we can. Frida Kahlo, I said that quote all wrong. Not all storms come to disrupt your lives, some to clear your paths. Yeah. Just I know there was a few this one. I loved this one. This one was like my favorite. I chased summer, an endless sea of wildflower meadows and warm memories. I love that. The flower doesn't think of competing with the flower next to it. It just blooms. Some of these are just so pretty. I don't like that. <laughs> the secret to change is to focus all your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. I have trouble with that. Um, yes, I do. I like this one too. And this one. And authenticity. I guess all the ones that I liked are in the back. <laughs> Beauty is not in the face. Beauty is a light in the heart. I love that. My word is heart for the year. Love this. You're the artist of your own life. Just keep life simple. I love this. What would I write on that? Love that. That's a paper. I might use that paper. Um, so yeah, there's like a whole, a whole bunch of stuff here. I think I'm going to take a bunch of these quote cards. These are just really nice to kind of sprinkle in um, this one too. Um, I think just those. So let's put these back. And then... These are ta paper tags. I don't remember if there's anything here. You are the artist of your own life. They're single-sided. Um, like this, I'm going to probably have to cut a bit of it off if I want it to, like, align. Um, none of them really jump out at me, so let's put those aside as well. And then just look through the papers. And then what I wanted to do was look through magazines. Like, I have a bunch of magazine cutouts. kind of want to get some of that stuff in here. This is really pretty. A lot of the... I don't like orange, so... Like, 
orange is not going to be a thing that I gravitate towards. Um, I think I do want these butterflies, even though I hate that red, but I guess I can cover that up. So we're going to maybe cut this in half. This one is gorgeous too. I like the blue on the inside. Um, and then this one's sort of like this one. I do want to use one of those. But like darker. So I just want to get a sheet out of this. These are, I believe they're A5 and then they're folded in half, those specifically. So let us just rip this apart and just get half of it. Honestly, I think I just want those for now. All right. Even though I do like this blue, but I think I just want that for now. And so I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff away. Oh, I did want some of this craft. I think I'm gonna use this envelope. Um, and just put anything that I don't want to use. Let's put that there. I want, I want to use the envelope for now. Um, don't want that. We, we're, we're good with the cards. I'm trying to figure out what was it that I wanted from in here and what I didn't. Um, I want to pull out some die cuts. All the stickers. Um, maybe. I know I don't want any of these. Um, and these. And this and the tag. Right. I do one of these hearts. This I didn't think I would need. I love this. So I think I'm going to hold on to that. And this and that. And all the stickers. All the stickers and the rub bonds and the die cuts. I'm going to go through them and pull out the ones that I want for this particular project. I'm calling it a project, it's more just journal, but I, you know me, I like to work via a kit. <laughs> I, I don't know, I, you know, I like things looking coordinated in, in a way, you know. I like things to be matchy matchy. Um, I'm only going to use one notebook for now, so I'm going to just put the other one aside. And yeah, so these are my papers. I gotta cut these babies down to be six size. And then these are the cards that I wanna use um, and my papers. So I have some of that craft. And then I gotta cut this down and this down to be six size. Unless I just wanna cut it in half. But this one's vertical. Like the print is vertical, so I'm gonna have to cut that one down. This one has to be cut down. This one I can cut in half if I wanted, or just cut it down too, it doesn't really matter. And then this bag. That's pretty much B6, so I'll probably just cut it in half like that. If I hole punch it here, there's a pocket here. And then this, there's no pocket unless I seal that. So that's what I'll probably do with that one. Let's start it with these and trim these down. I'm probably just gonna tear everything because I just like the look of having torn stuff. Mm, it's a little taller, so I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. These I probably can use for something. So I'm going to use that. Use that. Maybe all of those. Well, I don't know if I want to use all of them because I think there's two of each. Two of each. Um, let's see what we have in here. Love this photo. There's two of. A good day. 
and end of summer. Sure, let's do that. And it is the end of summer. Um, as I'm filming this, yesterday was the autumn equinox. So, no more summer. We are officially in autumn. Officially in autumn. I believe all of this is florals and fairies, and I want to keep that. These aren't, <laughs> and neither are these. I really just want to keep the floral stuff. I think I'm going to use this pad as well. And then all the stickers. I think all the stickers I'm just going to have in, in, the, in the journal, in the planner. They probably won't all fit. The rub-ons. I don't know. This one, I only need one of. I don't need two of them. Just one. Rub-ons we'll just put aside for now as well. You can always come back to those. That I want. Um, not everything in these do I want. I'm basically creating my little kit with you. So far I'm using a kit. I kind of want all of the, the decorative pieces. Like I don't really care about the tags or the ones that say stuff. I just like the florals. <laughs> just like the florals. That's what really drew me to this particular Coco Daisy kit was the florals. What does this say? Record the moments that matter the most. Together enjoying the end of summer festivities. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave all the memory keeping prompty type ones in there and just take out the florals. And I'm gonna do the same. with this one. Which I think this one's all florals as well, except for the tags. Like there are these tags and everything else is a floral. What I love about these Coco Daisy ones is that they're stickers. These are all little stickers. Look at this fairy. They're all stickers. And I'm just like, that's so great. <laughs> I can just peel, peel and stick. They're all stickers. Okay, and then I have these tabs, which I don't think I'm gonna use. So we're gonna consolidate. We're gonna put the tabs in here so that we can use this one for more decorative, decorative pieces. And if you know me, oh my god, I, I love like creating things based off of a kit, like using a kit. And a lot of the times, like these little things, the papers I will always end up using, but like the stickers and the little ephemera bits, those like very rarely end up in the actual journal. It's very odd, but I will use those. Okay, I think I am sorted. I think I'm sorted in terms of the decorations, which is all of this, plus, you know, the sticker book. And these vellum pieces, you know, these are what I'm going to decorate with. This I'm going to use somewhere as well. I haven't decided where, so we're going to do that. I'm going to keep the stamp set out too because it looks very cute. And the washi. So this baby needs to be hole punched. And then all of this needs to be hole punched. Um, before I do that though, I kind of want to pull out some more stuff. I want magazine cutouts. I want maybe some pages from Daphne's diary that might fit. Things like that. So this is the part of when I make my journals and stuff or when I kind of gather the materials. When I now look at my stash, so usually I'll have like a kit or I'll have like a collection that all matches and I pick apart what I want to use from that collection and then I go into my stash and pull out things that I think will match it. And so I'm just going to Pull out here, I have a ginormous stack here of stuff that I ripped apart from Daphne's Diary magazines. This I used in my Water Your Soul binder. I don't know if I want to keep it for that, but that matches perfectly. So let's just take it out. Um, but yeah, this is like my, my hoard of Daphne's Diary stuff. Just have it, like I have a little tiered thing and I kind of pull out 
all kinds of stuff, you know. So this is the next part, is going through and pulling out things that uh, will match. And what I really, I think another reason why I really liked this Coco Daisy collection was that it, I love the water, I love watercolors and I love florals and like, you can already instantly tell that a lot of the Daphne's Diary stuff will match this, you know, this collection, a lot of it, a lot of it, a lot, a lot. These are pages from the diary that, of course, I failed at keeping. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use any of them. These are all stickers. These are all, yeah, these are all stickers. That's not. These are all stickers. I'm not going to use this, even though it's a beautiful Daphne's Diary calendar. Like, it's so pretty. Okay. Autumn vibes. It's just horizontal, of course. Hello, October. We're, we're getting into autumn and October, and I like how autumn vibes. Fall in love. It's very cute. We're in Libra season. So, you know, good time for relationships. Oh my god, this is so cute. These are stickers. <laughs> like, I pull out, like, all of the stickers. These are some autonomous ones. I really like this deer, and I think I might want to use that. It's pretty. Stickers. These are so pretty. It's just, they're horizontal. <laughs> I would have to punch them like that. Like, cut them down too. That's so cute. This is vertical, but... These labels. These are like cut apart things that I didn't really cut apart. Stickers. This is something that you're supposed to punch. It's like perforated, but that just, it's so pretty. I love this. Focus on yourself this winter. I pulled this out so like, so this is kind of the stuff that I would love into the like love to put into this journal is like articles that I wanted to keep the things of and so I this I love this. This was another one too, New Year's Resolutions. I also love the illustrations on these. Um, but I don't think that is apt for autumn into winter. This one is this one is yeah, that one is. So pretty. You know, the, the squirrels. I wanted to use squirrels. These are some of the papers. I already used some of this one. Grandma's apple pie. I love this. I think I'm going to use that. Little bird. Some of the poems. I just like the, the, the illustrations in a lot of these. Like, this would be really cute, just using this illustration.
Then of course all the pattern papers that you get. <laughs> This was a poster that I think I just cut into sheets of paper. These are pretty. These are all cut apart. This is in here somewhere. And then I have the paper pads. And there's tons of stuff in here. really like this one. That's just always the pain, like trying to figure out how to rip it from this. like this bird, but let's check the other one. This one is more of the illustrations and less of like the floral stuff. Like, I want to say this is like the new style of Daphne's Diary, where the other book is the old style. This one's pretty. All right, I think I'm good with Daphne's diary. So now we can just put all this back into the tier. So I have that. This is usually when I go through this, which is a bunch of printables, mostly from Nazi Amity Bloom. They're mostly Amity Bloom printables and wallpaper, wallpaper samples. So. I have printables and then wallpaper samples. I don't think any of the Nazi stuff would work. Um, this would work. And then some, these are all the wallpaper samples that I have. It's really pretty. A lot of wallpaper.
All right, I'm not gonna look through all the wallpaper. Um, but I do like these sheets from Nazi. These are magazine clippings, and so that is kind of what I want to go through next, is the magazines. The magazine stuff. I mean, some of these are small. Um, like, I love this. Like, I, I'm definitely going to go through, I think, the little pieces again and pull stuff out for sure. But I think I want to just pull out the bigger, the bigger pieces right now. So. I want some cozy vibes. Since I am thinking about like autumn. I have a bunch of these guys. I have so many of these actually that some of them I haven't even cut down to size yet. The little flower fairies. And I know fairies are like all in that. These are the ones that I still need to, to cut. Flower fairies. Love this. The cats. I don't know if that matches though very well. I think I will also look through magazines. I'll come back to this, this here. Anyway, I think, do you think I have enough paper? I think, I think I have enough paper. I think so. I think I have more than enough paper here. All right, I also want lined paper. Or grid paper. I'm gonna take a few from here. This is already B6 size-ish. Is it B6 size? I wanna say it is. I don't actually know what size this is. Oh, dimensions here, I'm pretty sure that's millimeters. Um, it's roughly B6 size. envelope and then I want to look through I need book paper and you know the vintagey paper I don't think I have any on hand I would have to go through my big box that's down below to get that
No, I want some of the other vintagey paper that I have in my box. Okay, let's just work with what I have now, which I think is more than enough stuff. I already have some stuff that's already punched, which is great. Well, this isn't. These are not the correct punches, but these are correctly punched. Um, they're correctly punched. Everything else needs to be punched. So... This, this will need to be punched so that the holes match up. I'm actually going to have to trim this down a little bit. Okay, I think the first thing I want to do is punch out anything that's already the size, which is like all of this, everything else in that. The images, the magazine images, I'm going to hold off. That's going to go in the end, but like the other papers and stuff. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do now, now that I have all of my things, is I am going to get off the talking and probably fast forward this bit because this video is going to be super duper long. And I guess in editing, I might go back in and fast forward some things as well. But um, I am going to hole punch all of this stuff here like all of the stuff that's already the size of what I need it to be, whole punch of it, whole punch all of it, get it in, and then maybe work through this and getting this stuff in to the planner as well. And so I will get started on that now.